I'm in Surama, which is in Guyana, and I'm in the middle of a tropical rainforest on okay. my next adventure, which is about survival. Milder is my guide, and he's been advising us on how to build a shelter. So we've been cutting down these timbers, which are about to go across these trees. Not from that, that end. Okay, so we built a shelter, we built a fire, we did a bit of fishing with the help of our survival expert. But he's now disappeared away back home. So whatever we do, we've got to stay here for tonight because there's no way we'd find our way out of there. Behind us is the tent with the palm fronds on the top and the palm fronds on underneath and our mosquito nets here. I'm laying in my hammock wondering why what possessed me to think about camping out in a rainforest overnight. So it's 20 to 11 at night. My mind is just playing tricks with all the noises and our fire is gradually dying down. And I can hear a mosquito which I'm hoping is outside. I can hear it. I'm hoping it's outside of the Mozzie net. It's impossible to sleep here. Well, we're still awake and it is now 12 o'clock. I'll tell you what it's like sleeping out in the side of rainforest. It's like flying in a plane. You get in the plane you're relaxed, we're quite comfortable in these things, but then you hit turbulence. And for that fraction of a second, you're going, what the hell am I flying for? The fear of God is put into you because you think you're going to crash. And that's what it's like out here. You're, everything's comfortable when you're laying here, trying to sleep, and there's suddenly crash, or something goes crunching past. It's dawn, it's six o'clock. The forest is now coming alive again. Well, it's 6.30, dawn. We woke at about half past five. I went to sleep about quarter to five. So I'd sort of recommend it, but do it with a group of people. It might make it a bit easier because the forest is alive at night and you don't quite know what's walking past when you hear it going through. Anyway, we did it. We did our survival training and camped out in the tropical rainforest of Guyana.